money, Charles? You want love? Eric, he wants to buy your birthday present. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, you've seen this. Dave Barry opens a new show. We were in a rock group together, 1973. You were in Dave Barry's rock group? No, he was in mine. Matter of fact, I was the one persuaded him to take up music. Seriously? Charlie and the Barnstormers. We needed a lead singer and I was the one that got him to join. That's all a long time ago now. Eric, you don't hurry. The shops are closed before you get there. Right, Mum. Did Dad really know Dave Barry? Who? Dave Barry. Dad says he used to play with him in the same group. Your father did a lot of strange things when he was young, Eric. Now, don't spend too much and for goodness sake, get in something useful. If you can't think of anything else, get socks. Yes, Mum. Your dad played in a group with Dave Barry. He didn't just play in it, Rachel, it was his group. Charlie and the Barnstormers. Wow. Is he going to try and meet him? I don't think so. Said it was all a long time ago. Can I help you, sir? Oh, yes. I'm looking for one of those things that you put on your head and it makes it look like you've got an axe stuck through it. I'll see what I can find. Dad's birthday on Saturday. Nice one. Um, look, I'd better pay for this. I'll see you down at the main doors, all right? OK. About five minutes. I'm afraid we don't have an axe, but I've got plenty of arrows. And if you don't mind paying a little bit more, this... What are you doing there? We don't have dogs in this store. Go away, Shoo. Please, go away. Shoo. Rosemary. Oh, Mr. Norman. Any problems? Well, first, there was a boy. And then there was a dog. A dog? Well, which way did it go? No. Oh, never mind. What's all this? I don't know. Don't just let it lie there. It looks very untidy. Yes, Mr. Lord. Good dog. Rover. Yeah, you. You're quite sure you saw one, are you? Positive. Here. Yeah. Sign of one here. Oh, you better put those things in the storeroom. Yes, Mr. Norman. Excuse me, you're not locking up, are you? Oh, don't worry, love. We open again tomorrow. I think my friend's still in there. I've been waiting for him and he hasn't come out yet. Oh, no, no, no. There's nobody inside, I can promise you. We're very careful about that sort of thing. Uh, he probably used one of the other doors. Ah. Mm -hmm. Nice window display, Jack. Not bad, is it? The dog's a nice touch. Oh, yes. the doors, Eric. You're going to be stuck in there all night. Are you going to be all right? <coughs> all right, Eric, all right. Don't worry. Look, I'll phone your mum and tell her you're staying at my house tonight, all right? <coughs> There's nothing else I can do, Eric. All the doors are locked until tomorrow. You can't get out as a... They're so realistic, aren't they? Hello? Mrs. Banks? It's Rachel Hobbs. Um, Mum and I were wondering if Eric could stay here tonight. Oh, no, no trouble. Pajamas. I'll just ask him. Who are you talking to, Rachel? 
Um, it's the man selling double glazing, ma'am. Well, tell him we don't want any. And come and have your supper. Yes, ma'am. Um, ma'am says not to worry about pyjamas, Mrs Banks. Um, she's got some spare ones she lends to visitors. Tomorrow morning, yes. Bye. Hello? Eric? Where are you? Where are you phoning from? I'm still in the store. It's all locked. I can't get out. What did Mum say when you rang? Oh, brilliant, Rachel. Brilliant. Oh, I suppose I'll have to stay here till they open in the morning. But food? I think I'll be all right. Should be able to find something. <laughs> Norwood. Yes? Good dog. I think you'd better have a look at this. Why? What is it? I think it's a dog. It's wearing pyjamas. Pyjamas? What on earth? Well, don't just stand there. Dogs aren't allowed in here. Get him back! Uh, yes, Mr. Norwood. Stop! Stop that dog! Have you seen the dog? Yes, he went that way. Okay, we've got him now, right? Just don't let him get past you, all right? Not yet, Mr. Norwood. It went that way. It's driving a car. A dog driving a car. See all the doors, Peterson. I want that dog. Morning, Nigel.
it's you, isn't it? Are you in some sort of trouble? You better hide in here for a bit. Have you seen a dog? A dog? Yeah, small, um, rather scruffy, uh, long hair, mm, uh, roughly speak. You mean a toy dog? No, 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 a real one. Possibly driving a car. Ah. It's been sleeping upstairs in one of the beds. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Thank you. Well, come along, Peter says. Thank you. Sir. Morning, Rachel. I think this little fellow belongs to you, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, sort of. You never believe where I found him? Inside the co-op. I'm not sure what he'd been up to, but he looked as if he needed a lift home. Thank you, Mr. Banks. Thank you very much. No problem. Eric all right, is he? Sorry? Eric. He was staying here last night. Oh, yes. Yes, he's fine. Um, I would call him down, but he's, um... He's not dressed yet. <laughs> Typical Eric. Never mind. Morning, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello, Mr. Banks. Got time for a coffee? I won't stop, thanks. I've still got a few deliveries. Right. But thanks for looking after Eric. Hope he behaved himself. Looking after who? Looking after Eric, man. You know, the dog. <sighs> right. It's a pleasure, Mr. Banks. Always happy to have him. You lead a very complicated life sometimes, Eric. Come on. So the dog was in here all night? It's not the fact that it was in the store, Daisy. It's what it did while it was. Did it do a lot of damage? No, none at all. As far as we can establish, all it did was watch television, read books, and play games in the computer department. Computers? Yes, Alan said it scored 33,000 on Chucky and got... Le Excuse me. Thank you. That'll be £3.99. How could a dog work a computer? No, you tell me. <laughs> you heard what it did for its supper. Alison said it stole food from downstairs and cooked it in Mrs. Althorpe's department. Oh, and it didn't steal anything. No. It left money. Um, excuse me. My friend left some clothes here yesterday. Did anyone find them? Clothes? Oh, yes. I think they'll put in the storeroom. If you'll come this way. Money? To pay for its supper. The exact amount. It was terrifying, Rachel. Trapped in a department store. Hundreds of people chasing you. It's like a nightmare. Good job Dad turned up when he did. He saved my life, Rachel, honestly. I can't even say thank you to him. Because he doesn't know it's me who... It's got to be here somewhere. It can't just have disappeared. You've already looked in there, Charles. But I remember we had it. We definitely had it. Well, when was the last time you saw it? I put it in a box. Just before we got married. That was 16 years ago. I think it was the one with the Beano annuals. Um, is something wrong, Mrs. Banks? He's lost his photo of him and Dave Barry. The group? Charlie and the Barnstormers? He wants to have it framed and hung up in the hall. It's not going to be in the pantry, Charles. We cleared all that out for the rat man. That's it. That's how I'll say thank you. I'll get him a picture of Dave Barry. I don't think that's quite what your dad had in mind, Eric. No, I'll get a proper photograph from the newspaper offices. I'll get it signed by Dave. I'll ask him to write, Thank you, Charles Banks. I owe it all to you. Dave Barry. You think he'll write that? I can ask him. He says he's staying at the Royal Hotel. Have you ever tried to see a pop star, Eric? Why? It's not easy. Pop stars have people whose job it is to keep people like you away. I mean, you might. You might be able to get a signature. 
you wait outside his hotel for hours or something. But you'd never get close enough to ask him to write something complicated like that. <sighs> Unless there was some way you could sort of attract his attention. I want to see you, Dave. Who is this? It's a dog. It's got a message. You lost. It's got a message. It's for you. <laughs> Dear Mr. Barry, could you sign this photo for us? Thank you very much. What photo? What the hell? It's just sitting here. Dear Mr. Barry, this is the photo. <laughs> if you could write to Charles Banks, the man who helped me get it all started, best wishes, Dave Barry. Thank you very much. Charles Banks. Do you want me to throw this dog out, Dave? No, that's all right. You got a pen? Pen? Yeah, right. That's all right, I've got one. who helped me get it all started. Mission accomplished, Eric. Got the pen? Eric, that was a ten-colour biro. I'm never going to get it back now. I have to... <sighs> Thank you, Mr Barry. So sure, Doc. Uh, sort of. And you're the one who wanted to sign the photo, right? But sort of. How about you and me have a little talk? <laughs> well, 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 Charlie Banks. So he lives round here now, does he? Well, he's Eric... Uh, my friend Eric's dad. You remember him, do you? Remember Charlie? Of course I do. He was the one who first got me to be a singer. Really? Yeah, it was his group, Charlie and the Barnstormers. Look, I've shuffled them all up. You won't mind doing it again, will you? Not at all. <laughs> right, Eric. Elton John. Cliff Richard, Pet Shop Boys, Dave Barry. Now. Which of them has the best voice, the most talent, and the most charisma? Dave Barry, I love this dog. <laughs> um, well, thanks again for signing the photo, Miss Barry, but. We'd better be going. Hey, look, I don't want to butt in, but I've got hundreds of photos back at the office. How about I get one of Charlie and the Barnstormers? I'll write the same thing on it, get it framed. We'll give it to Charlie on his birthday. That'd be wonderful, Mr. Barry. <coughs> When's his birthday? Um, it's Saturday, isn't it, Eric? <coughs> yeah, Saturday. Right, well, you give me the address, and I'll make sure he gets the photo on Saturday. Here we are. Oh, holy <laughs> love. Are you going to blow them all out? It's wonderful. Make a wish, then. All right. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> now, if you start opening your presents, I'll just make the tea. Right. Where shall I start? To Dad. Happy birthday from Eric. <laughs> well, I'll get it. Has he come yet? No. Dad's just opening his other presents now. Do you want to come in? You don't think he's forgotten, do you? I mean, he wouldn't say he'd do it, and they're not, would he? I don't think so, Rachel. I think... Uh... Hey! 
Look at that! Wow! I don't believe it! Dad, it's for you. Me? Who is it? Whoever it is, tell them you're busy. I've just made the tea. Right, love. Hello, Charlie. How's the headache? Here, happy birthday. Who is it? Is that Francis? You mean you married her? You lucky devil. Charles, could you just... Francis, you gorgeous woman, you come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great to see you. Thanks, Dave. You made my day. Oh, you're welcome. Ta-da, oh, Francis. Oh, you take care. See yeah. you again soon, Yeah, mate. come and see the show, eh? I will, yeah. Oh, right, bye. See ya. Cheers, Lol. Right, then. Well, thanks again, Mr. Barry. Yeah, thanks for everything. It wasn't a bad afternoon, was it? Pretty the dog couldn't have been here, though. I was looking forward to seeing him again. Oh, I'm afraid he uh, comes and goes, Mr. Barry. <laughs> oh, well. Look, um, do you mind if I ask you something? Oh, anything, please. Well, it's just that when that dog came to the hotel, I'd never seen anything like it. I really hadn't. And I was wondering... You'd that... like to adopt him? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll look after him. He'll have everything money can buy, I promise you. Well, I'm afraid he's not really my dog. He's more Eric's, really. Oh, yeah. And it's um, very kind of Mr. Barry. Very kind indeed. It's just that I think this is sort of where Eric belongs. Yeah, well, I thought you'd say that. If ever you change your mind, let me know, OK? Certainly will, Mr Barry. All right. Thanks again. Bye. Happy birthday, love. There's more Woof at the same time tomorrow here on Carlton Kids.